My name is Brianna Sanchez. I got interested in photography in high school. I, um, I want to say I was about 15. I went to Savannah College of Art and Design my freshman year for a major in photography. That didn't work out. <laughs> and then I ended up transferring to the University of Arizona and I graduated from there in 2015. I lived in Minnesota for two years, South Dakota for two years, and then I finally moved back to El Paso. Sometimes, because I don't speak Spanish, but still, being Hispanic, being Mexican-American is a huge part of my identity, even though I don't exactly fit that mold of somebody who is Mexican-American. To some people, I think I do. <laughs> like, I think, like, because I am, you know? <laughs> like, I think it's normal. My parents both grew up pretty poor. I don't want to say poverty, but, like, not well off, you know? Like, they definitely, their family struggled. So I never forget that, you know? Like, I think that's why it's a big, it's constantly like in me to never forget like that somebody had to migrate. I think I've always had an interest in just people and life and food and history and space and just like an all-encompassing humanities, you know? I've just been trying to like keep my feet on the ground since I moved back to El Paso. You now we had like, um, you know, those patriots at the border, you know, protecting the border on their own volition. And then we had, you know, the We Build the Wall people. And then we had the mass shooting. And then we had a global pandemic. And then we had an anniversary of that mass shooting. Um, oh gosh. It's hard to like look at this stuff sometimes. I haven't looked at them in a while. Like I haven't looked at, this is the border patrol crash. And like, I haven't looked at this photo in a while. I'm like, why would I want to, you know, like, so I think when I was scrolling, I was just like, oh, like immediately kind of like took me back and like made me feel it. But yeah, that was, that was a terrible day. That was, that was really sad. I took this my senior year of high school and I remember thinking that I could never take anything like this again. And to be honest, I'm not certain I have. I don't think I've ever gotten something like that. Like it's one of those things where like those weird like photo gods just hit you. I like being there to photograph the hard times too, because I think it, if you're, you have a heart, uh, you know, a lot of empathy behind it, I think that's the person you'd rather have telling history through photos. Photojournalism has allowed me to just keep storytelling in every facet of life. I think you can't really find that in a lot of photography careers.